This video is going to look at calculating gram formula mass. To calculate gram formula mass, you need to write out your chemical formulae or use the one that's been given to you and use the, the page in your data book that deals with relative atomic masses of elements. If you look in the data book, you'll find that the relative atomic mass of aluminium is 27. In the compound, we have two aluminiums, so it's 27 times 2, which equals 54. Moving on to look at oxygen. Oxygen has a gram formula mass of 16. And as there are three of them, we multiply it by 3 to give us 48. This gives a total of 102 grams per mole. Looking now at something which involves a group ion. When you write the formulae of a group ion, you keep all of the elements together and deal with them as a whole. However, when you look at the gram formula mass, you split them up. So we have magnesium, which you'll find has a gram formula mass of 24.5, and we have one of them. You have sulfur with a relative atomic mass of 32, and again we have one. And then finally, oxygen, as we've seen above, has a relative atomic mass of 16. This time, times 4, which gives us a total of 64. If we add all of this up, we get a gram formula mass for magnesium sulfate of 120.5 grams per mole. In the final example, we have calcium nitrate. In this example we have one calcium, which has a relative atomic mass of 40. We have nitrogen, but as you can see we've got brackets around the nitrate with a 2 here. That means we have two nitrogens. Nitrogen has a relative atomic mass of 14, multiplied by 2 to give us 28. And then finally oxygen. There are three oxygens per nitrate, and as we have two of them, that will give us 16 times 6, which is 96. Adding all of that together gives us a total of 164 grams per mole.